Now, your forecast from Fox 56 News, the weather authority. Well, good evening and welcome back in. We've got a wind advisory that we've been holding on to here that goes until 7 a.m. for Central Kentucky and 8 a.m. tomorrow morning for Southeastern Kentucky as those wind gusts that have been a problem for us here today have really been picking up into this evening and it has been causing some issues out there for us. Scattered power outages on the maps tonight. We've got peak wind gusts in Lexington at 48. A couple of our Mesonet sites reporting over 50 mile an hour gusts. Also in Frankfurt and Somerset seeing that. So the general 40 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts here tonight are going to continue to be possible for us as we head into tomorrow morning. Hence why that weather or that wind advisory is in place for us. Future cast showing exactly that still approaching close to 50 mile an hour wind gusts into 5 a.m. tomorrow. And then as we get past 7, 8 o'clock, we start to see the rest of this system move on. Still pretty breezy throughout most of the day. Wind gusts 30 plus miles an hour into midday. 20 plus miles an hour into the afternoon. It is going to cause our temperatures to drop quite a bit. We're going to float near or just below freezing overnight tonight. Wind chills in the upper teens at times, and we only bounce up towards the mid 30s tomorrow afternoon. All those colder winds keeping those temperatures cold as well. With temperatures getting down towards freezing and the rain that we're still tracking for tonight turning over to snow, we could see some slippery spots develop for you into early tomorrow morning as well. Right now we've got just scattered showers showing up on satellite and radar. If we zoom out you can see the system and scale huge still rolling across the upper Midwest. You can actually even see a little bit of the next system off to the far west there but we're going to see this brown line and this snow here to our northwest wrap into the warmer air that we've got now that's holding it as rain and try to turn it over to a little bit of snow and that's going to lead to the potential of some isolated slippery spots tomorrow. 10 p.m. on Futurecast tonight spotty in nature but you see starts to take over right around midnight and into the early parts of Wednesday morning. By the time you're getting up and heading on that morning commute, we've still got some dark blues banding across the future cast here. It's not until 10, 11 o'clock that most of the area is completely clear from that. But again, with temperatures going down towards freezing, we could see a couple spots hold on to a little bit of snow early tomorrow morning. This is the potential snowfall depth coming in, and you can see that in some instances where it's cold, we have that snow sticking around briefly but it's only going to add up to a trace to you might be able to measure a few tenths at best. But again, cold temps and all of that rain we had today, plus a little snow, could lead to some slippery spots, especially on those overpasses and bridges. Now check this out. It's not the first time we're going to deal with it this week. It's no surprise there. Thursday's quiet, but Friday the next big thing comes in. It's almost a replica of the system we have now. Wind and rain Friday during the day. We're going to keep that going with some heavy rain at times. Overnight Friday into Saturday, cold temps filter in. Wind gusts continue to pick up and we had the chance to see some snow showers overnight Friday into Saturday. Some of that which could stick across the area as well. Maybe getting a little bit more out of that system. Still of course some time before it gets here to start worrying too much about that. But Friday into Saturday, wet and windy to some snow showers. Then somewhere between Sunday and Tuesday, we're going to be tracking cold air coming in with another system. And this one could have the potential to bring us some heavy snow. That's another thing we'll have to watch. Things are just going to continue to be busy, busy, busy.